All right, Friday Night Flies, your host with the most, Scotty Holmes. Friday Night Flies, Scotty Holmes, back for another season with the boys, Big Bad Brad and Boulder. Um, yeah, I'm looking super forward to it. We've been, uh, it's been a long summer and a lot of fishing going on and a lot of uh, fish catching going on. It's been busy. It's yeah, been really it, busy it has. It, and not only that, we had it, we had basically a drought for the whole summer. We did not have a lot of rain and and it was super hot. It made summer. some really good fishing, I'll tell you that. But much. there was some really, really good fishing. So um, that tonight, I'm tying up a, a really simple egg pattern for you. I, I used it for the whole end of the, well, not the whole end, the, the whole coho, or sorry, uh, sockeye season, um, and which is ending up now, and, and fish are basically off the river, but I've still been catching fish with this fly. Well, it's so. pink. The uh, pink wrapped up. They wrapped up just after the sock I did, and uh, now the cohort is starting to roll in. You could use this pattern with the once the cohort starts spawning. Yeah. And when the Chinook actually were in the river first, we started using it just as the sockeye yeah. were rolling in. It started yeah. to really, really work. Yeah. It definitely, it, it definitely picks up for the sockeye. Like that's definitely oh. when when this pattern really. It's has a numbers its, game, yeah, right? Yeah. yeah. When there's more than eighty thousand sockeye in the river, they get pretty accustomed to eating egg patterns. Yeah. And and this was the size that I sort of I, I I decided I liked. I made some bigger ones. I made some smaller ones. And this size seems to do man. And it fools fish, man. Like not just like fish, but big fish. You know what? I I didn't catch a lot of small fish this year on it. Like I've been catching most of them you. have been thirty centimeters and bigger. I feel for you, brother. I feel for you. <laughs> Anyhow, let's show these guys what uh, okay. what this pattern okay, looks like. Okay, let's show. And there it is, Scott. <laughs> there it is. So. One thing about fishing with an egg pattern is you lose a lot of them. So you, you don't want to make it super complicated. Um, the thing is, is it's bouncing along on the bottom. It's bouncing along on the bottom. And this, um, you can use this with a dry line. You can use it with a sinking tip if you want. Um, I tie another version of this where I use a bit bigger bead and then I put a tungsten bead in the middle to just give it that punching weight to get down to the really deep pools, right? I, uh, I fish it a little differently than you do. I think you're using it with a sinking line. You, um, I did. It, I used it both ways, and I had probably better success with a dry line, a, a dry yeah. line with a long leader. Yeah. Right. And I was, I was I, running it with a strike indicator. See, that's what I was gonna say. Man, yeah. I'll tell you, that was like taking food from a baby. Yeah. No, I did, and I did run it with a strike indicator, and I had good success with it. Um, I just, just, I just, I just, you know what? I kept, I got tired of losing everything. Yeah. Oh, and it was just a pain in the ass. So yeah. I started uh, uh, check nymphing with the egg. Um, I. Did I have great success close and far, you know, like catching fish really close to me and catching fish a long ways away. So let's show them how this thing's tied. It's okay, going. let's go. So you're starting off with a size 10. A uh, size 10. Size 10. You're using a curved... Uh, a curved... It's a scud hook? But scud sort of hook, yeah. It, it can be used also. It also says on the package you can use it in egg patterns. An egg hook, yeah. I use egg hooks when I'm tying egg patterns. It's, it's pretty similar. It's a wider gap. Look, that's, that's what the whole you're thing. For. I yeah, like this one because it's it's fine enough, and uh, it seems to catch more fish. Like I just seem to have better success for it. So what I'm going to do is just tie my thread on. Need a license? Yeah, how many Ooh. people walk into your store with carrying uh, these things, eh? Well, lots of people. Outside this yeah. yeah. Customer just walked in with his gun, just in case you guys are wondering what he's walking in with. Yeah. Yeah. How many people walk in with a gun this time of year? Well, it's not easy. Yeah. The, la the last guy <laughs> took his gun out and he had live ammunition on the side of it. <laughs> walk into the store. <laughs> what a redneck. Yeah. And like, we weren't too alarmed of it because it's pretty pretty common this time of year. Anyhow, you're looking okay. to get the, So that's we put happen. a big glob of uh, UV uh, resin on there. And I'm just going to start spinning it around. All right. If you want to leave it with me, I'll get it done first thing in the morning. Or are you going first thing? Hey, no. Okay. It's all good. Are you okay? I don't want there, it or? really. Yeah, I was seeing it. I just uh, want to get, get a little bit of UV paint on oh, yeah. the whole bead you use the tools over there. Sure. and the parts of the bead that are going to be taking the smacking. Like, there's two reasons for the UV paint one, to protect the bead. So, anybody that's fished a bead egg pattern knows. That the bead doesn't hold its paint for very long, for a very short period of time, as a matter of fact, depending on how you're fishing it. And so you get the UV paint on there. 
a nice little thin coat just enough to protect it. Hey, we'd also like to add that uh, Luno Doors, we absolutely love your products and use them regularly. Yes, we do. They have a great lineup of products. Check out their website. I believe it's lunodoors.com. Great lineup of products. Nice, nice punch there, man. That was really good. Okay, so now that that's cured, I think my light's dying because it seems to always be a little bit tacky. I think I need a new battery, but um, this one's got two spectrums. If you want to oh. try that, this and it's hard. It's just a little bit tacky. The, that one's got two spectrums in it. And then the other thing that the uh, UV paint does is it adds the UV quality to your fly again. If you're not using a UV bead, I am already using a UV bead. I mean, the, the difference if, uh, yeah, you can see it really light up when you put that UV light on it, that's for sure. And we all know that fish see in UV. So anytime you can put that hot spot on your fly, give it a go, you'll like it. And I, I could have also put a big red spot on my uh, on my uh, bead if I wanted to. I do that. I usually put my any of my spots. I usually put them down on the side. I think that if it's on the top, I mean the fish could see it from below. I guess I, you know fish is swimming over top, but from below I just think right down there in that little corner is where I put my hot spots for this. Okay, so I'm gonna tie on my uh, my yarn. And I do it in two stages. I just, it works better in terms of getting the uh, yarn to stay and make a nice round head. This one here, you see I tied it. This is if you tie both pieces at the same time, you're gonna see a little bit more of the, uh, of the string. Not that that matters. I mean, if you're in a hurry and you just wanna tie it at one time, you can. Just get a little bit more rounder of a profile, or you tie it. Okay, so once you have nicely wrapped, you just bring your thread forward. And I just I do quite a few wraps. I want to build it up, make sure that everything sort of has a little bit of stain power. It is bouncing on off the bottom all the time. So do a couple with finish. Okay, and then you trim it. So, spin around, see how it turned out. This yarn tends to dull your your scissors. I'll yeah, you. don't use your favorite pair. No. There you go. Done. And don't be fussy. They don't like. They don't have to be perfect. One. I, that my first example was. I probably had a little bit better. Water. What? The yarn's gonna leave a trail, right? The bead's gonna get it down. This stuff's gonna leave a trail. It's got the color. It's got the rough shape of an egg, and that's all you need. You know, it doesn't have to be perfect. And sometimes I think the ones that um. The perfect ones don't catch as many fish. I've tied these with little little streamers of uh, of uh, 
uh, fibers off the back and uh, it's them a lot bigger and a lot more circular and you know what like you said this this is the simplest way to tie them and they work so I think that's key Brad's back again there uh, working with rifles Oh, oh, look at that. Look at is, that. that is that the fly we t started with, or is that the one you just No, finished? that's just the one I just done. It's, Man, it's finished that's now. Quick. Okay, so what do you, you want to go up top? I guess so, yeah. Did you give it a rotate? Yeah, okay, well, I'll rotate it real quickly. Oh, that's a sexy pattern. Cool yeah, if you wanted to, you could you could put, you could go with a red Sharpie now, and you could put in, add a little bit of color into it. The hot spot on the top. I don't add my, like I said, I like the hot spot down on the side where it's more likely to be seen, right? Yeah, totally. Okay, let's go up top and let you sign her out. There it is. There it is. Well, um, so there you go. There's an egg pattern. Like I said, you know, there's, there's, you know, multiple ways to fish it. Um, I personally track nymph it most of the, most of the time. Um, Brad, I de definitely is, uh, is using the strike indicator. I have mastered the art of strike indicating the uh, egg pattern. Yeah. I've had like 30, 40 fish afternoons on the Birkenhead River. Uh, I mean, not the Birkenhead River. <laughs> Did I just say the Birkenhead <laughs> you just, River? You just no, said I just said the yeah. Birkenhead yeah. River. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, no, and, and it worked great for me all fall. Um, I, I, I recommend trying it. And uh, uh, as I said, I also do a version with a bit bigger, with a bit bigger bead and then i take a really small tungsten bead put it in the center and then tie this on the back of it again for that extra weight that i don't that i don't need lead i don't need any of that it's a, it's a bit of a flip cast it's not a nice cast even this is a bit of a flip cast it's pretty heavy yeah. that's a pretty big bead, pretty big bead on there so um but yeah you know long leader get it deep in those pools and you're gonna catch some big fish that's for sure well scotty holmes for the first tie of the season um, glad to be back. Glad to be back with the boys on Friday night. Yeah, that's right. Friday night. Yeah, Friday night flies. So uh, until next time, Scotty Holmes. <laughs>